like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars i want to show us three things that god rewards because god does not reward everything everything has a consequence every seed has a harvest but god does not reward everything there are many others in the bible but i was able to put together three things that god rewards what does god reward number one are you ready god rewards diligent pursuit for him and the things of the spirit the first thing that god rewards is a diligent pursuit for him and a diligent pursuit for the things of the spirit hebrews 11 and verse 6 already tells us that he that cometh to god must come believing that god exists and he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him please say after me them that diligently seek him that means when you see a man seeking the lord loving the lord seeking him in worship seeking him in prayer seeking him in fasting seeking him in the study of the word seeking him by working with the company of wise people who love jesus the bible tells you that man's life will not be an ordinary life are we together let me tell you the truth god loves everybody but our destinies are not the same our destinies are a measure of the rewards that has come into some by reason of their passion and their love for god a man will not pray two three hours every day study the bible walk in true holiness and righteousness and then receive the same reward with someone who is licentious and careless and say it does not matter it is my life don't forget that his throne is built upon righteousness and justice a student who reads one hour to the exam and a student who is always there in diligent pursuit even with his knowledge he will meet people to teach him their results will not be the same are we together even among herbalists and native doctors their results are not the same based on the degree to which they press into the demonic there are others they say this is a powerful herbalist why do they call him powerful because of the depth of his consecration and his pursuit we have to be very honest with ourselves to know that seeking god genuinely above money above titles above church above religion there is a reward to it you are my strength when i am weak you are the treasure that i seek you are my only I'm seeking you as a precious joy, not to give up, I'll be here for you. You are my only Lord. When I began my walk with God, there was no comeliness and nothing to be desired. It was a blind and sincere pursuit. Lord, I love you and I thank you for motivating me and helping me know that if I seek you, you can build a great destiny out of my life and i brought my life like the content of the alabaster box and poured it before him look what he's done today no one should tell you that god does not reward the first thing god rewards is the the sincerity of your pursuit hallelujah so that anybody who tells you this church thing this jesus thing does not matter i just need to settle down and know who is who by reason of what you are learning in this conference you can call him and say listen let me tell you in this kingdom when men give god their everything when they pour out their lives as drink offerings to love him to seek him 
and it's important that God rewards our pursuit for him in the presence of those who know us so that they are motivated I used to know this young man while he used to clean a house near my house you would see him listening to a message while he's mopping as a houseboy to know that today he's a CEO to know that he's a great man of God today you know I meet several people as I travel around the world and some of them used to know me before and most of them will say we knew it I said it's not about me it's about the message that God rewards are we together for someone right now you are in your season of work with God you are pressing into the things of God while others are sleeping you are awake praying while others are roaming around wasting their lives you are there giving yourself to God can I tell you your reward is sure don't be discouraged it may take a while only a foolish farmer plants corn today and by morning is complaining no you give it time motivated by the fact that God swore upon the earth that seed time and harvest please listen listen carefully hallelujah the first thing God rewards is diligent pursuit diligent pursuit Matthew chapter 7 7 and 8 Jesus was teaching and he said ask and you shall receive he says seek and you shall find I like this one seek seek trouble you will find it seek peace you will find it seek a mediocre life invest into a life of mediocrity you will find it invest into a life of dignity and honor you will find it he says knock when you read the amplified expression it says ask and keep asking seek and keep seeking knock and keep knocking the law is in the next verse for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone who seeks finds huh. as the deer panted for the waters of my soul longeth after you for you When the rewarder comes to four square he's not coming to reward members he's coming to reward those who seek him don't say i've been here for a long time uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. rewarding those who love him and would serve him lord my life belongs to you everything belongs to you you are the object of my obsession number two what does God reward? Is someone learning already? God rewards faithfulness. God rewards faithfulness. Anyone who is waiting to enjoy the ministry of the rewarder must be one who is faithful. God rewards faithfulness. In Matthew chapter 25, from verse 14 to 30 we're not reading everything for sake of time this is the parable of the talents the bible says he gave unto one five talents he gave unto one two talents he gave unto one one talent and the bible says then he went on a long journey are we together immediately the person with five said i need to get to work and he went to work immediately and made five more the person with two didn't sit down envying the one with five all of them had peculiar challenges that were were associated with their realm the one with five talent had the challenge of complacency to overcome he would have said after all I have the highest talent here but it took a greater focus and concentration for him to go and multiply it to five the one with two would have suffered jealousy and envy and say why is it not me he had to shelve jealousy and envy to focus 
then the person with one you see what the guy did you now see that the one that was given to him was even messy because he was a careless and nonchalant person very clearly when the master came back he called all of them and now he began to ask them the person with five said you gave me five and I've given you another five let's see what um, 21 says watch this the Lord said to him well done good and faithful servant he didn't stop there you were faithful over a few things he said I will make you ruler over many things enter into the joy of the Lord well done good and faithful servant he said the same thing to the one with two talents then the one with one talent came very arrogant like many believers he said I know you are a hard man you like reaping where you did not sow so I even did you a favor by not wasting it away I buried it now here is your talent and Jesus said you wicked new King James says lazy King James says unprofitable servant that means you did not bring profit to me you are a wicked and unprofitable servant he said if you know that I gather where I did not reap why didn't you go and give serious people like the bankers so that they would do something with it that means what did the rest do that you did not see hallelujah are we together the second thing God rewards is faithfulness. There are many people admiring estates and mansions and yet the one room you are staying in is not, is, it does not look like you are grateful to God for giving you that. If your one room, are we together now? You keep, is, is dirty, is unkept and you say in the name of Jesus, I know I'll be an estate owner. God is love but he's not a fool. You prepare for where you are going by being faithful where you are please hear me you prepare for where you are going by being faithful where you are I know God will give me an anointing to raise the dead someday I will speak to nations someday no speak to the two people before you with sincerity and faithfulness pastor the ten people but nobody will see me to reward me no problem there is an all-seeing eye of this one who calls himself a rewarder even Anna the prophetess who hid in the temple and nobody saw her Jesus made sure in his intelligence that reference was made to her also you never count those who played a role in Jesus's life and ignore that woman please hear me many people are unfaithful you may not be a sinner but unfaithfulness aborts your potential are we together now to experience greater things and greater rewards today by the privilege of God's grace many people see what God is doing through our lives and you know very interesting how many people think we're just lucky and I tell them lucky go and find out the story for many years I played the keyboard for someone who used to have a prison ministry they, they used to preach for they they were part of the people who went to preach when Obasa Joe was in prison it was my own small keyboard I carried it by myself and I trekked to a small hotel where they were using never did anybody ever tell me thank you you may have heard it in my teachings the only thing I ever got was one bottle of Fanta and one cassette and yet I did it sincerely because I love the Lord nobody comes out of nowhere it's a joke take throw away all that that superstitious belief when you just because you saw David in front of Goliath for the first time does not mean that was his first time of fighting I'm saying this because in this season God is coming to this church and there are people whose lives will change overnight don't be surprised don't say they just came out of nowhere find out their participation faithfulness in prayer meetings 
faithfulness in Bible study even when it's not convenient and God is saying I'm watching you ah, God sees oh God sees one day you will see someone who is a cleaner just cleaning the chairs the day it's time for God to lift you someone will come here and say young man what are you doing you are a young man and you are cleaning the church yes sir what did you study I studied ABC call this number tomorrow and in two weeks you will hear that he's working in a top oil and gas firm and people say he was lucky <clears throat> Listen, when it was time for Isaac to get a wife, when it was time for Isaac to get a wife, the Abraham sent a servant and when he came, he said, Lord, I am praying. Many young ladies come to fetch water here, but I am praying that I will meet the person I meet who is faithful, doing the routine of faithfulness as a woman. Let it be that that is Abraham's wife. As soon as he got there, he met Rebecca at the point of faithfulness. There are many things you lose through unfaithfulness. Let me tell you the truth. You can be free from sin, but if you are not faithful, there are many things you will still lose as though you are a sinner. There are many people today who have qualified for promotion but cannot be promoted because the executives know that by longevity you are here but sincerely is going to be a a minus to that organization to promote you please say after me in the name of jesus i obtain grace to be faithful apostle my own work is just to clean the pulpit do it sincerely as unto the Lord knowing that you are serving the Lord Christ and knowing that your reward is sure. My own is to scrub toilets. While I'm scrubbing it, people will come and be saying all kinds of things. Don't worry. Service and faithfulness in service is a deep mystery for rising to untold realms in the spirit. Run away from people who become great and don't have a track record of service. They are dangerous. Elisha, a man who carried the double portion of Elijah's anointing. The Bible said he was the one who poured water upon the hands of Elijah. Are we learning? Today, there are many, many families that are willing their inheritance not to the biological children, but to someone else who is not even connected to them, but has been faithful serving. Faithful serving. Hallelujah. The hymn writer says, May the Lord depend on you. May you be so faithful that God can depend on you. No, I, I know that this man is here. He will be faithful. The first thing God rewards is a passionate pursuit, a diligent pursuit for God. The second thing God rewards, and let me tell you the truth, everything that God rewards men also reward in fact the way God rewards is by using men so what is applicable as far as your relationship with God is concerned is also applicable within your work as far as man to man is concerned faithfulness is someone learning in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 still speaking about faithfulness Galatians 6 and verse 9 the Bible encourages us to not be weary in well-doing. Do not be weary while doing good. New King James will say, it says, For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Or New King James says, if we do not lose heart. He encourages you to not be weary in well-doing. That means there are times that well-doing does not look rewarding for the short time. You can keep doing a lot of things and it looks like people are demeaning you, downplaying you. Maybe this is a word for someone. You are saying, I'm about to compromise. I'm tired. I've been a nice person and I've been cheated. I would have had two houses today if I just quietly collected the bribe. I didn't and God looked at me as if he didn't see me. The next time that money comes around the table, God, it will not be my fault. I won't let it pass. Listen, let me tell you the truth. 
it pays to be faithful the rewards of faithfulness does not come every day but the day it comes is areas is accumulated together first corinthians chapter 4 from verse 1 and 2 first corinthians chapter 4 from verse 1 and 2 i'll tie up one more point and then we'll pray let a man so consider us as servants of christ and stewards of the mysteries of god paul says next verse moreover he says it is required in stewards that one be found faithful be faithful be faithful the hymn writer again says i'll do as it beats me whatever the cost i'll be a true soldier i'll die When a soldier dies in active service, they give them the gun salutes, even to their corpse, because they were faithful to the end. They kept their vow. Faithfulness. Number three. What does God reward? God rewards are you ready for this God rewards the works of men there are two dimensions to this God rewards the purity of the motivation and God rewards the degree to which you comply to the pattern given to you please pay attention the third thing that God rewards is the works of men God rewards the works of men. He rewards the purity of the motivation and he rewards your degree of compliance to divine patterns. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. The book of Revelation starts in a very interesting way. John is caught up in the Isle of Patmos. He was banished on account of his faith. Bible history tells us. And in the Isle of Patmos, He's given access to the third heavens. Then he begins to document his revelations, captured as the things that were, the things that are, the things that would happen thereafter. When we get to 22 and verse 12, please give it to us. 22 and verse 12. 22. It says, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone not according to my love for them according to his work behold have this at the back of your mind that i'm coming quickly and my reward is with me not without my word and that i am here to give to everyone according to his work let me tell you sincerely the works of men will be rewarded there are two dimensions to your work that will be rewarded. Number one, the purity of your motivation. That means as God looks at me now from heaven, he's not just carried away that I'm preaching here. The first thing is he has to vet the purity. Uh, what is motivating you? Are you preaching just because you love God's people and you want to see the name of the Lord lifted? I can come here and preach just because I want fame preach just because I'm trying to make a name for myself the motivation behind the works of men will be tried and number two the degree to which you walk in keeping with God's pattern that means if your assignment was to stand here and you as much as came up here but you stood here it will be rewarded the margin between God's will and where you stood will be rewarded there are many many people who will miss the reward when the works are tried God will say I called you to be a man of God and simply because of the persecution you manipulated your way out and you are something else it will be rewarded
first corinthians chapter 3 from verse 12. this will probably be our final scripture for tonight i want you to pay attention to this point three things i teach you tonight that god rewards number one god rewards passionate pursuit for him and for spiritual things number two god rewards faithfulness at all levels and number three god rewards the works of men please give it to us first corinthians 3 i begin my reading from verse 12. now if anyone builds on this foundation gold silver precious stones wood hay straw uh-huh we're reading to 15. each one's work will become clear for the day will declare it because it will be revealed by fire and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is 14. if anyone's work which he has built on it endures he will receive what he will not just receive a reward because he built we have to look at what you built on if you built on jealousy and pride and just the desire to be famous the desire to outshine and pull others the bible says your work will be tried that means there are many things we are doing today and while they are clapping for us when that fire of god's justice blows what will be left will not be a handful as men of god our many preaching apostle joshua selman while you are clapping is only god that knows what is motivating it it can be a carnal mundane pursuit just to make a name and when it is tried you will find out that of the 2000 preaching only five were preached from a pure heart that is the reward you will get let's finish that scripture please if anyone's work is bond he will suffer loss but he himself will be saved at yes through fire so it's not about being a good or bad person the purity of your work while you were working in church father it is an honor for me to clean this place for the man of god to come and bless his people it's a privilege to be part of your house and god is seeing it someone else can come and walk and you say he's the most hard-working person that is true based on your perspective but it's only God that knows how many times he insulted the pastor before he said yes sir when he came it's been recorded in heaven yes sir did I do my best to live for truth did I live my life for you when it's all been said and done all my treasures will be Only what I've done for love's reward will stand the test. 